Roofers don't want you to know this. When you call a roofer to come and give you to look at the leak on your roof, they don't want to show you what's causing the leak. 95% of the times, it's not the roof. It's flashing and the drippage. And the reason they don't want to show you that is because they don't make money fixing flashing. What are they going to charge you? $500, $800? It's a half a day wasted and they don't make money. But 95% of times you can fix the leak if you just know what to look for and where to look. Hello everyone. Before I take you to the problem, I want to explain about flashing. A lot of houses in the north and northeast and have wood siding, clapboard, vinyl siding with flashing tucked underneath it and the roof tucked underneath the flashing. That is excellent. Most of the times that will not leak. But there are a lot of houses with a brick face, stucco, cement, cinder block that has this type of flashing. And let me explain to you the problem. When a roofer installs the, 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 the membrane, he comes up the wall and the way to to make the flashing work. You cannot just leave the, the, the roof like this. Water will get in behind there like that. You have to put flashing. So they cut a slot right there into the brick. And then they add this type of uh, drippage. You see this drippage with the lip? And they add it right into the slot there. Just like that. All right? After they did that, they take caulking <clears throat> Let me show you. They take caulking, clear, doesn't matter, any caulking. And by the way, you'll find this problem on chimneys on your roof. Very, most chimneys have this problem. And let me show you. They take this caulking and they just add a little bit of caulking onto that where that transition is. And that's all they do. That will never last. Two or three years and you have a leak. So let's take you back to that video that shows you the problem. And then we'll come back here. I want to explain to you another problem on another video what we did. And then we'll repair all of this so you show you how to repair it so you can do it yourself. Okay? Let's go to the other video. So this is flashing. And this material the roofing material should be underneath this flashing, okay? And then the flashing is just a small piece of lip metal that goes into the wall. They grind it, a slot in the wall, and they put it in there. And here's what happened. They put caulking here. See? They just caulked it like this. And the caulking separates. Look, it's loose. Look. Just like that. So water comes down this wall down the wall, it's the flashing, and it goes behind this, behind this roof membrane, and it causes a leak, and it appears that the roof is leaking when it's not. It's the wall and the flashing. A roofer doesn't want you to know this, because what's he gonna tell you? Oh, you just need to caulk this. This is what they did. But caulking doesn't work. And that's what most roofers do. They caulk the flashing and it lasts maybe for a week or for a, for a year or two years. But then they gone and you have to fix this. And let me show you how to fix this. This is very simple, and very easy. I'm gonna show you another video where I fixed the drippage. I did that yesterday. Let me show you this video. All right, we're back at this model and the other problem is this drippage. A lot of times the membrane will come loose from this drippage and especially, especially where the two drippages where they uh, cross over each other, where there's a joint. The membrane comes loose or not necessarily completely loose, but the water will come seep in here and get into this fiberboard. Now this is fiberboard. Fiberboard's like very soft fiber, wood fibers, I don't know what it is, composition. And when it gets wet, it gets rot, it rots, and it gets soft. See how the, I've wet this overnight, and you can see it's already getting soft. And you can see the screws that holds down this fiberboard, 
they don't go down. They stay that level. And what happens is the, the board gets soft, goes, uh, it compresses, and the screws does not. And what happens is you get this problem on the roof, where the screws are pushing through the membrane. I did not explain that too carefully on the video that you're gonna see, but now you will understand when you look at that video and see how I repair it very easily once you have this problem. And then I'll take you back to the flashing where we repair the flashing and you'll see how to do that. Okay, let's go. Metal edging. And in this case again, this is what's happening. You can see it, it came loose from the drip edge here. See the drip edge there? It came loose and water gets underneath this roof. And once it gets underneath, the, the underboard is getting soft and it presses down and the screws are pressing upwards. Look at the screw pushing through here. Stand there, sweetheart. See the screw? And there's a fiber board there. See, the, there's a fiber board underneath it. So what you want to do is you want to pound this nails in oh that one just broke rusted but you're gonna find look, look here see you just pound it in okay just like that so all of this in this area is gonna do this you want to pound it in and it also separate the seam here because of the stress here so there you go the screws down I'm gonna fix this now Look here, another screw, and water will, it will break the membrane. So you pound them in. So what, here's how I'm gonna fix it now. Let me show you. We cut it in a half. You don't need a, a two inch strip. Right there, okay. So to fix this is very easy. Let me show you, I use turbo poly seal. It's, I just painted over this edge, a transition between the metal and the, the rubber membrane. This is a torch down rubber. So I paint my strip. You can see it's been leaking. Every, this is loose on a side here. So very easy fix. Fleece, I cut this one in two inch strips. I don't want to use four inches, no need to. You waste a lot of material that way. You can cut it in four, two inch strips and you save a lot of time, material and time by cutting it in four inch, uh, two inch strips. Just like that. And look at it. That is sealed. You never have to worry about this again, never. This is always the problem with most roofs. It's the edging, metal edging and flashing. Very, very seldom the roof itself leaks, very seldom. So if you're going to look for a leak, <clears throat> look, look on the metal edging and flashing. Then I have this where I nailed this, pounded this uh, screw in. I just do a patch there. Because that... Uh, I put a patch there and I know this is not going to leak anymore. All right. I only need a little dab over the screw that I pounded in, just like that, and I patch it with a fleece, and you're ready. Look, beautiful, done. So I want to fix the seam here. You can see the seam if you look from this side. Let's open up. You see that? The seam opened up. So I'm going to fix the seam now. I'm gonna do it from there. Assumably, the stress of this uh, leak caused the seam to open up here. Okay. And that's it. That's how easy I fix the seam here. And that's it. Look at it, beautiful. Voila, the seam is fixed. So now we're back here. I'm going to show you how to repair this very, very easily 
maybe inexpensively because you don't have to get somebody to do it for you, okay? So when you want to do the flashing, repair the flashing, you cannot go over loose paint like this. See this paint? You cannot do that. It will never work. You need to make preparation. You have to get it. So I take a grinder. See? See that, that yellow paint? It's paint. You cannot just go over that. It will, it will come loose. It's dust. You see that? That's what you do. You clean the paint off. There are other places where it could leak. Let me show you. So this is another place where it could leak. On this block wall, you can see the grouting came out. So I'm going to show you how easy to fix it with turbo poly seal. Liquid flashing, okay? I coat this brick where I cleaned it. Make sure I get a thick coat over this. It will last 20 years as long as you have this. It, the caulking doesn't last. And that's what the people do, they use caulking. You paint over it and no more leaks. Water cannot get behind this. You just cover this area. Let me show you how to do it. Look, I, I paint this uh, over the crack, just like that. But it's better than putting cement and grout back. I can paint this. Once it's dry, cured, 24 hours later, you can come and paint this and there's no more leaks, okay? Just like that. You see how to fix a crack? Thank you for watching, I'll see you on the next video. This is how you fix flashing.